You know, it's a it's a shortage of uh, males being born that is that's being taught how to be masculine. It's well, of a course, because you know where masculine men, a lot of them, if they're not thinking properly, you know where they end up at? They end up in the fucking jail because they done knock somebody out, they done smack somebody around, they done you know did something physical. You know, the, I'm just I cannot stress it enough. There's a fast way to jail, and it's called putting up your dukes. In the wrong, you know, all takes that motherfucker with that camera. They didn't see, you know, no one cares about the build up. All they care about is that action. You know, so. Like, like savage. Yeah, like savage. He should be locked up in a cage like an animal. You know what? We got a cage. The you know, only one who needs to be locked up, seriously, are all these whack ass judges and lawyers high on cocaine, uh, doing these bogus ass court procedures, getting certain people off when they should be going to jail, and some people who should be going, who should be getting off. Are going to jail, mm -hmm. you know. You know they, it. We need to totally change every. This whole system is a failure. I say instead of drug testing a janitor, we need to drug test our politicians and cops every day, daily. But when you click clan, before you hit that punch, punch that time card, motherfucker, someone comes up and baps you on the arm with a blood test, no piss test, because we know these motherfuckers they got money. They'll come in here with the whizinator, you know. You know uh, uh, and is that shit in a cup? No. You get hit that blood or you hit that hair sample every day. So then that way when we see, oh shit, uh, uh, Senator so-and-so voted. Well, you know he was on that oxycodone that day, right? Yeah. Oh, we can throw that shit out. But they ain't gonna do that because then that means there'd be less black men getting jailed in jail. Well, well, there you go. And that, that's not the plan. You know, we can't do we that. Know. You know. You know? We need Officer, Officer Smith out on the I mean, it's beach. bad enough we got Officer Smith basically getting in blackface, going around shooting people. You know, you know? Oh, that was a black guy. You know good one, that wasn't no black guy. Chicago. Mm. You know, we know what the fuck's going on. They buying these motherfucking costumes. Maybe I should buy one of these a costume like a white man going around touching women's booties and shit. Or just, you know, being with uh, hyper dark needles around. Yeah. Uh, so, you know, walking down the street or walking through Walmart slapping myself because I'm tweaked out. Mm. You know, they might have tweaker edition uh, costumes. <laughs> oh, stop it. It would be a flannel shirt all ripped and tattered and a headband. With one tooth. Oh. They said the vampire fangs. You just have that one tooth. tooth. You know it. You fucking know it. You know. I want, I want mine to come with the cut off sleeve flannel. It has to be, look like it's been worse several times. Mullet edition. <laughs> look at them. It's that bandana with a mullet. Oh, man, you motherfucker be trying to snatch it. Hold on, I need that for my trap. <laughs> a mullet edition, <laughs> yes. Uh, oh, hell no. Hell no. A little muscle shirt, some ripped up jeans. Don't forget, you got to wear some work boots. It's like, you know, damn, dog, you ain't worked in six months, but you're still wearing work boots. What's up with that? Might run out of money. They run out of money all the time, so they might have to do a little something strange, something strange, you know, to keep that keep that fix going. See, the thing about it, the crack epidemic was a hell of a lot more sexier than this opium epidemic. You know, when you went to a crack house, not saying I've ever been to one, but you know, when you went to a crack house, fucking, you'd be sitting there, and the chicks would come in all dressed and clean because they're going up, they're getting stimulated with that crack. You know? For a minute, but we all <laughs> see some rough looking crack in this now. It's not shit. Well, that was a shit. sexier scene versus some dusty ass trailer. You know, dog <laughs> shit in the air, piss everywhere. Your fucking needle sticking out of the fucking fucked up carpet and shit. You know, fucking like an opioid you know, like den. I used to see like like numerous of videos of people falling asleep at lights and at the gas station struggling oh, and shit. And one morning I stopped at a gas station that I uh, used to stop to every morning and shit. And what do I see? You know, lo and behold, <laughs> there is a couple in a car with two kids in the back passed out Fucked on up. fucking that shit. Mm. Out. Right there again, like four in the morning. Mm. You know. Hey, when you get to get that fix, you know, you heard of Crave, you know, the White Castle Crave. I got the Crave. These motherfuckers are on some other shit with that. Oh. They, they got the Crave, all right. You know it. You know, like you said, so they do something strange, you know. These motherfuckers will steal. That's their number one deal. Once they steal everything, then they, I guess they go to prostitution. 
or whatever. But you know, there are some sticky finger That's like when you be driving down the highway and you get off at the exit and you see all them fucking tweakers up there with the sign, help me, or mm. blah, blah, blah. Them tweakers, them motherfuckers. Some of them is homeless, some of them not, but they all tweakers. Yeah. They're all strung out on that shit. And you know what? I don't have no problem giving a motherfucker who's begging. You know, when I was working up in the city, I was driving a the truck. There were several times, man, motherfucker hit me up. Hey, big dog, you know, can I get some change, right? I just straight get these motherfuckers a 50 or a 20, just straight up. Here you go. You know, they look at me like like I'm crazy. I'm looking at them like, man, just go and have a good time. You know, fuck I mean, it. I was going to go buy no sandwiches. No, fuck it. Go and have a good fucking time. Shit. You know, get you know the damage is already done at right. this point. <laughs> right. <laughs> what the fuck? You know, go and get your little drink and you know, yeah, your, your whatever else you fucking do. I remember one time I did it up there at a Crown Mart, man. I, I hit this brother up. I gave him $40. And only had, uh, uh, normally, uh, I carry mine for my lunch and shit. I was just feeling charitable. Get this brother that money, man. This brother come back down with a big old fucking blunt. He goes, hey, big dog, man, come on, man. I, want, you know, I was like, man, I don't even mess around with that dog, you know what I'm saying? And he's like, well, you know, sometimes come through, you know, we'll drink or something, you know, because that's all I do and shit. And, uh, you know, that's how you make friends, man. You know, that brother had to come back and offer me shit. You know what I'm saying? Right. But he did. You know what I'm saying? That motherfucker was, and I smelled that motherfucker from here to over there by that tree. I was right. like, damn. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, look, if you're nice to people out here and you treat people like you would want to be treated, like if I was down, if I was all fucked up on coke or, or smack or whatever, and I was out there, hey, man, give me, man, I would love for someone to show me some love and just give me some shit so I can get up off these streets, get my fix, and go and do what I got to do. Right, you go beg for more money after the high come down. For real, you know, but at least you have that rest pit where you're right. fucked up for a minute, you know. Mm-hmm. And there ain't nothing wrong with that, you know. A lot of people, oh my God, you should contribute to that. They're there, they're, they're, you know what, motherfucker? Every time you pay your taxes, you contribute to dead motherfuckers over there in the Middle East. So don't give me that bullshit. Over a million killed in Iraq alone. Yeah, you know, I'm so sick of hearing the self righteous, pompous bullshit. When, if push comes to shove, motherfucker, we took your 401k, we took your motherfucking monkey ass accounts from the bank, your ass will be out there doing way worse because you least, you motherfuckers won't even know how to fucking make it out there. You know what I'm saying? You know, how will you take my That's why, that's why the motherfucking suicide rates. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God, March. The mortgage. The mortgage. No, that's why they had the suicide rate. Shit. It's it's so high. That's another thing they don't talk about because the white, it's the white, it's mostly white males. Right. White middle-aged males, boom, off with his head. He can't deal with the pressure. He don't know. He wasn't because he can't compete. Yeah, he cannot compete out here on the street. Yeah. We all know this. He, what in the summertime? Now in the wintertime, he may have a one-up because he can do the barbarian thing. But in the summertime, that motherfucker be out there and wearing some AC like a zombie. AC, AC, because he'll die. That's some burn his ass up. I've seen some homeless white cats. It's not pretty, dude. That neck be all sunburnt and shit. Mm-hmm. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Yeah. I mean, and do I, do I get joy from seeing them in pain? Fuck no. I don't like I'm saying no. I'm a normal motherfucking human being. I don't get off yeah. and see people in pain. But I'm not going to sit here and ignore that it's their people that's bringing that stuff in their community. And, and I'm not going to ignore it's their people that's bringing a lot of pain to my people yeah. as well. Yep. I'm not going to ignore that shit either. Because when, when we was going through the crack epidemic day, it wasn't no drug courts. It wasn't none of that shit. No, it was called it. real court. It's called court court. Yeah, that bounce your ass right to jail, jail. Yeah, but they developed these, you know, these motherfucking. They went so court. far doing that bullshit, motherfucker. You white boy, you have fucking powder coke. I'm black. I got rock coke. My shit. I'll get more time than you. Mm-hmm. You know, yep. so because everyone knew white folks snorted, white folks were smoking it. Yeah. So, and that's how it was. And man. that's how you know this shit's so fucking evil, man. Mm-hmm. So fucking evil. I always want to fucking, you know, sort of like, dog, none of us were there during slavery time. You know, very few of us was here during Jim Crow time, right? So why are you still playing these fucking racist-ass games? You don't really, oh, you do have a stake in that, my bad. Because that's how you're getting that motherfucking trust fund money from Grandpa. That's how you're getting that little motherfucking uh, 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 sense of fucking pride as you're walking down the they street. Got a, they have a stake. And us being, still being here. As much as I feel sometimes that they think that we're useless. Obsolete, still, obsolete yeah. machinery. Yeah, they, they have, you. they don't know how to function without, they can't even think right without, you know. They wake up, a lot of them wake up with black folks on their mind. You know? Oh, and a black dick right in the center of that motherfucker. 
You know, there was a song out there this white boy made. Um, you know that country song? That nigger lover song. Yeah. Nigger lover. Dude, horrible, horrible fucking song. Every stereotypical trope about a black man up in here. He was just bird, you know. He probably had a chick, you know, that that was curious. Mm. He probably wasn't treating her the way she wanted to be treated. Well, or, she or, wouldn't want to be treated. Bitch, give me goddamn beer. Pow. That's not how she wanted to be treated. Give me a TV dinner. You know, and then, oh, you know, David, you know, showed her a good time. Gave her that <laughs> man dingo. It was game over. Uh, it was game over. And then that boy went there after David got finished, went down there and ate that shit out. Mm -hmm. Thinking that he was doing, oh, it's extra moist down here. You know it. it. extra you moist, know. you silly rabbit. That's all nut on that yeah. bitch. When you're slapping it up like a doggy. You know. It's so sweet. <laughs> and she paid David money from yo check. That's why Ooh. he got the new J's on. Ooh. Don't think this shit don't be happening. Like it's 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 about what a couple of months before hunting season comes. Oh shit! You know, I can't I can't speak on why that. Why the men are gone? Tyrone will roam. You know, let he who hasn't took advantage of a dumb bitch with some yeah. money cast the first stone. Right. If yo if one of your homies are partners, you know, in in I told no hunting season starting like October. Yeah. When they go on the you know yeah. trip in October, you know, all of a sudden, you know. Fucking, you know, Tyrone, he got a new fence, J's, you know, mm. some, some rims on his shit. You know what he been doing. You know it. You know you what know he been I'm, doing. I'm running a waskily wabbit. You and know it. And they, pay good, that shit up. and they pay good money for that shit, too. Oh, yeah. That's that money's what, not know. cheap. You better have some money. It's all it's, it's all it's all money in that shit, especially around uh, around their season time. Because these motherfuckers go and uh, these motherfucking chicks... Husbands go off and they go to these dirt camps where they ain't doing nothing but sitting around playing with guns and drinking beer, drunk as a fucking skunk, and she at home getting dicked up. Fuck but and, and here's another thing I'm going to hip y'all to. A lot of y'all don't understand this. Uh, a lot of these brothers or, or white boys or whatever that's going out here hunting, a lot of that is a uh, uh, cover for homosexual activity. Probably. No, they straight up going out there. They'll never come back with no fucking deer. No, but they come back walking funny and shit. Yeah. Oh, I fell off a tree stand. Yeah, I bet you did. You, you fell off to your buddy's dick. You on never got up in that tree stand, motherfucker. The tree you know. stand never got out the truck. <laughs> <laughs> shit. And, you know, or else, you know, if, if they're not doing that shit, they, they like these old cats that were from around here. They actually went out to Las Vegas and they fucking party for fucking a week, right? And the old girl found out someone used a credit card and she came back to the house. Yeah, don't do that. It's and, 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 and it ended up costing them more than we yeah. thought. But no, they, but they came back with a deer. See, they had an old boy here, had a deer for him. So when they came oh. up, they snagged that motherfucker up and come on up. And everyone was like, man, every year they always get the best. Yeah, those, those two brothers, they motherfuckers were going out there, fucking whores, drinking, partying. Shit, later on, years later, I got the deal when we were all getting drunk, older, and uh, they were there, and they, you know, someone asked them about it, and they, they told the whole deal. I was like, you slid in, like, man, we did that for fucking 18 years. They were like, forever. Now, that's some slick shit, but most people ain't that slick. Most people, most motherfuckers nowadays are so dumb, it's pathetic. They, they don't caught. understand the game. That wife really never get caught that creep Tyrone in. No, because a woman can, can sit there and get that. Oh, you know, most motherfuckers ain't going down there smelling. I detect some fucking odor, some pheromones. Most motherfuckers ain't doing that. As long as that bitch don't come with some jizz, this is in front of the corner of her fucking mouth. Every time she speaks, you smell a ball sack. You know, you're, she's straight. But a dude, man, what it is, you go in there, you hit this bitch, and you get all this pussy juice on you. You know what I'm saying? Especially if you get deep into it. You know, I don't know about y'all. But, you know, if you get your hand action in that motherfucker, you'll get fucking uh, these two fingers here or three. They'll be covering that pussy smell. You know, I'm just saying. Now, I'm, clean I'm, yourself up before you go. Until you oh. can't wipe that shit off. I'm telling, or not me telling you personally, but I've heard you can't. <laughs> you can't yeah, wipe that disclaimer in there. <laughs> that disclaimer in there. Quickness. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you can hit that. You hit the gas station. The gas station itself ain't no good. And... Listen, man, it's it's really different for a dude fucking, you know what I'm saying, versus a female fucking. It really is different. Now, if she's with some old nasty, greasy motherfucker who stank, then, yeah, you might be able to detect some funk on her. Like, man, you, you smell like you just came out of a woodshed or something, bitch. She goes, like, like, I did. Uh, <laughs> uh, 
I did because I'm sorry. I just can't do nothing. And you know, the know, worst thing I see is those old know. dudes that you know have impotence problems, right? But they got badass bitch because they got money, right? Man, I worked with this cat, man, and he was talking about how he uh, met these couple, right? Uh, he was doing work at the house. It was the typical... That like some swingers or something? No, no, no. And he was actually doing, like... Um, no, I'm talking about the people he was working for. They, like, no, 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 no. She was just a, a, a sex star, and old boy was like, you know, he was money. He worked up in Kirkwood up in there, and he did a real good job up in the city. And uh, what he said was just like a goddamn a movie, man. He come out, he was out there doing the work. She comes out with cookies, hit, hit him up for cookies, they go inside, and he's smashing it, and he had to start smashing when he was like 15. And he was smashing this shit all the way up until he was 22. There you go. You know what I'm saying? That's on the side, it. man. That's good shit for a little dude coming up. For real. You know what I'm saying? And it's like, you know, do I, mean, I say, oh, that's wrong. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah. underage activity. Yeah. I don't You know, but these were different. Know. This was back in the 80s. Like, that's it. Yeah. <laughs> 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 this was back, back in the day, man. So it was a different time back then, you know. And they didn't put that shit on the camera. Yeah. Like, like these knuckleheads <laughs> do today. Yeah. You know, you're a little sixteen year old boy, you banging out some grown ass woman. Mm. You know, you don't have your you didn't have your friend filming it. You, you know, know you, look, you just go in there wear that bitch out and go. You know, I'm not gonna get, lie. Get something to eat. I think it's just as bad for a woman to fuck a, a young boy as it is bad for a man to fuck a young girl. But I have to be honest, you know, uh you know, when I, you know, younger, you know, and that, you know, older chicks took advantage of me as well. Yeah, I didn't want to say this on the show. I was trying to. So he has been a victim of this type of behavior. Well, it's know, okay. You, we can, we, you can heal from this. You know, the, the, the traumatic drama and pain that it's caused you of this woman's <laughs> taking advantage of you. Being an underage male that's yeah. raging hormones, you know. You know, and maybe that's why I'm so twisted in my head, you know, today because I saw how these chicks were behind closed door. I knew, like, you know, when they used to say uh, sugar and spices, girls all night. I'm like, that's a lie. No. This whore over here, you know, I mean, look, I think there's been an unsaid epidemic in the rural area about these rural chicks fucking young boys. It's been going on for, and you know what? Fuck it. You know, I might as well start me three. Hashtag. You know, you already got me too. Me five. You know. <laughs> no, me five. All I'm doing is come over and cut the grass. You tell me I got to cut the grass and turn that shit up too? Shit. Okay. I'm not laughing, man. I'm laughing, you know, to, to, to deal with the pain, but, you know. You want to clean that? Something. I, I got one here. You know. You know, we, you know, like the young folks say, we keeping it 100. It's not easy. <laughs> you know? it, ain't, you know? it wasn't easy, you know, to admit that, you know. you know. How old was you when she took advantage of you? How old was you? I was only 18. No. Oh, well, you was an adult. What? Yeah. You wasn't even, oh, never mind. That's my bad, dog. He was, bad, dog. He was, uh, he was already a <laughs> You know, I think he was like some uh, 16 year old, you know. You know how you be when you're 16, you know, oh, man, you start yeah. to get a little hair on your chest and uh, face and all that stuff. And, you know, you got some 24-year-old you're over there want you to just worry mm. and you just go hollow that some bitch out. You know, that's Those were the know. good old bad uh, days, actually, farm vacation and all that. Yeah. You know, I always took the moral high road as a kid, you know. I was like, uh, I, I'm not going to do that, you know, but I, I standards, you know, and, you know. No, you know. I'm serious, but I, I, nowadays... If I was out there in the dating scene, dude, the only thing I would be thinking of in my head is herpes, AIDS, gonorrhea, syphilis, and, and all that nasty shit. Because, look, man, <clears throat> there's too many pussies being passed around like hot potatoes. Mm -hmm. All right? Now, think about it. After that game was played, did anyone cut that potato up and make french fries out of it? No, you threw that motherfucker in the trash and everyone done touched it. Mm -hmm. That's how you to, to throw a chicken in the trash. And I'm not trying to slut shame. I, I don't ever do that. You know, whores... Sluts, I don't do that. You guys do what you guys do. You got to get it how you live. Yeah, I, that's stupid. You know, because that last time, unless she's using a dildo, it takes two to right. tank. But, at yeah, least. we do need to let, you know, me as a male, especially as a black male, and I see the vulnerabilities that 
a lot of black males face in everyday situations, you know, is I feel like it's a I have to do this to let younger black males to give them information to how to avoid these traps. Mm. You know, because at the end of the day, you but know, you make the wrong, trapped. you know, some of this shit is, you know, in, in Missouri. I know in the St. Louis area, the STD rate of love is outrageous. off the chain. And, and, then it's, and then in the black community, it's even worse, you know. But it's more black women with STDs in the St. Louis area than they are in male, almost by double. But who's fucking? You know what I mean? Are they fucking the same? You think they're fucking the same? I think they're man sharing. I think they're man sharing. There has to be. Yeah, I think they're man sharing. You know, that shit only works for bees. Pollens. You know, you go from one flower to like ants and stuff. Yeah. Humans, man, look. I mean, I'm not trying to be gross or nothing. If you have kids, you might want to get them out the room. They should have been out the room a long time ago. They ain't out the room now. You're just neglectful. Yeah, Yeah, you know, but it's all good, you know. To have a chick that's covered in jizz and, and... and you literally, you know, she's licking assholes, she's licking balls, she's having my first fucker in the ass, she's sucking the dick after they fuck her in the ass. And you think you're going to clean that type of individual up and make her any type of lady, you're a fucking ignorant, stupid, fucking gullible, fucking sap. Because that is a fucking gutter slut, dude. And, there is and that's no- why it's our due diligence to make... The young uh, generation of males are were, especially yeah. black males, are were of these type of traps. Cause they're out here. Fuck yeah! And they're bird. Tra- and last time I checked, the bird trap is nasty if you get mm-hmm. caught in it. Mm-hmm. Even if you don't, even if, even the trap don't mess you up, the secondary infection will. You know it. Mm-hmm. I mean, and, and uh, a lot of you guys, you need to check out uh, that. There's a uh, um, newspaper in England called the Guardian. All right, UK Guardian. Dude, go to the, the health and wellness. UK is the... For an island? They might have done good. Oh, they get nasty out. over there, too. Oh, dude, it's just syphilis. And, and new forms of flesh eating. They got a they got a flesh eating uh, bacteria over there that uh, if it's on your genitalia, it causes a ulcer. Uh, basically, a bump, then an ulcer, open sore. And then if you don't treat that, your shit will rot off. Literally, they got shit over there in England. That's right. And there's three three cases. Well, they even more uh, two chicks two dudes sexually, and one chick. Yeah, they're they're even more sexually fr- uh, freely with yes. their sex, sexual stuff. Whenever you hear about a kid talking about in uh, Europe, then they are in the United States, and we off the train over here. Well, we're you know yeah. this is mild compared to over there in Europe. They got they got some fetishes outside this fucking. They world. got animal brothels over there in Europe. Where they just straight up got sheep up Boy, in there. that motherfucker, and you, you, you and wear it out. Dude, you can take the savage out of the savage tree, but you can't just fucking fix him right in the head. No. I mean, listen, man. No. I have to draw the line. When you start fucking outside the human fucking race, and I, I, everybody is human, you know, seriously. You uh, start fucking outside the human race, you're a fucking whack. Why do you think all these small dogs are in demand? Oh, get out of here, dude. You know, we, we need to bu- check peanut butter. Hey, is the stock on peanut butter going up? I don't know, but I know in small dogs. I see a lot of I see a lot of single women with small dogs and cats. Well, you know why? That cat's tongue is very raspy. You know what that little dog is too. And they put that tuna juice down in there. She, um, the dog be in the living room. She be laying in that bed. He smell that pussy. Uh-huh. Yeah, especially, especially that them them seven to ten days before she go on her period where she's ovulating and all that shit. She's at her horniest. There ain't no man over there. She ain't got no man that can satisfy her. And she start rubbing that shit and get juicy. That dog in the other room, he smell it. <laughs> she get up in that motherfucking bed with that nightgown on, raise that motherfucker up. Come on, Poochie. Call that motherfucker uh, go right up in there with the blankets and it's game on. You know, they sense is better than that. So, you know, he in there, you know, doing his own thing, eating some kibbles of bitch and shit. Next thing you know, oh, he smell it. He already know the deal. And, you know, that slappy-ass whore will probably put her shit together and go to the club later on and fuck a dude. After knowing some dog done did what that dog did to her. Some of them dogs do it so good, she just turn over and go to bed. Don't even make the damn dog a sandwich. No. He, well, he got some food and water. <laughs> here's, some, here's a milk dog. You know, they make sure them little motherfuckers are taken well care of because they well taken care of them. Well, now, that's just my theory yeah, on why everybody got these small dogs. Mm, mm, I, I, you know, that's just my, that's just my opinion. Not saying everybody's doing this, 
or anything like that. This is my theory. Because me personally, I don't see a point in having a small dog. You can't do nothing with it besides step on it in the middle of the night. I hopefully dudes ain't grabbing on small dogs like that and wearing them out. Oh, not either. Get you a fucking medium-sized dog or something. Oh, damn, something they can bite back and fight? No, I ain't gonna bite That's probably why they do it. They got overpowered a little bastard. Be like, you can take him from a German Shepherd. Disgusting. You know, the thing about it, though, those people would be like, you know, this is just a sexual orientation. And uh, we have a right under the civil uh, rights act uh, uh, because you know they always throwing black Title folks nine. Shit into their bullshit, man. Oh, you know it always. And, you know, then you'll, when, and then you'll have the black politicians, you know, agreeing with the shit. As long as they pay them some money. Oh, you know they're gonna pay them. You some know money. what I'm saying? Those motherfuckers don't come cheap. You know? I try to get some on the show. First thing I think about how much you pay. I'm like, really? How much we pay? Yeah. Please. How much you pay for air? You know, that's how much we pay. This shit's free, motherfucker. Free so, and polluted. You know, yeah. Well, I'm not saying our show's polluted by no means, but, you know. You're talking about the air. I'm talking about, yeah, the air is definitely polluted. Fuck well, yeah, it you is. Know? I mean, a lot of people think that these chemtrails are just bullshit. You know, that's some Alex Jones wackery. No, no. Uh, if you look up in the sky and you see fucking clouds, straight lines, fucking up there for hours after a plane. Just no get plane. bigger and bigger and That's bigger. And so just, just ha- And then next thing you know, it looks like a, 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 a film or a yes, haze, a haze. In the sky. Yeah. But then the next day it'll rain. Or a couple of days after that, it'll rain. And then you'll see the chemtrails again. Yes. Listen, man, weather modification is real. And another thing that people aren't even hip to, and I just became hip to this myself, uh, Antarctica. Antarctica. Um, oh, that's some crazy stuff. I didn't see. No, they basically have a breakaway civilization down there. Like, like all the governments done put their little shit down in there, mm-hmm. and these motherfuckers are ready to break away from the rest of us fucking savages. You know. Because that's that's probably, and I wouldn't be surprised. That's probably the only place that ain't been fucked over on this little mother. Oh, because the motherfuckers are. can't get there, mass it's numbers. Too fucking cold. Shit. But there are some spots in Antarctica where it's is not cold. Where the, the land, the, for whatever reason, it's like 72 degrees all year round. Uh, they in the ground. Or in little pockets. They're called oases down there. Uh, the Nazis discovered one uh, prior to World War II. And then uh, they actually stole it because the, uh, the, the Queen of Belgium actually owned it prior to the Nazis staking claim to it. And once again, when you're way the fuck out there, you know, all you gotta do is take this flag, chuck it, and put your flag, and you own it. You know what I mean? Ain't nobody gonna be talking about we fighting because there ain't nobody around. So, shit, the United States got some interest in that shit. You think it's some free? Oh, man. we have bases down there. We, oh, I know we do. Yeah, yeah well, they fight motherfuckers in and out them motherfuckers all, all the time. Because of the fact that you know, when you're a superpower. Oh, you think the United States is not gonna let nobody go down to Antarctica and not get their first yeah. share? Fuck yeah. You know, and we're gonna get our first show. If we get that last, we're gonna get our first show. We're gonna take it from your ass. We got so much resources here on this continent still. Can't even touch it, you know, for because this is a protection. We got more national parks in this country than anybody else that has millions of acres, good land tied up so that some fucking hippie fuck can walk through and flip flops and backpack with some tie dye on thinking they're doing something. You know, I like hiking too. Uh, I don't believe in hiking. I believe in uh, I believe in uh, um, driving, riding place because I'm a fucking human being. I don't like to walk. I really don't. I ain't gonna lie. I don't like to walk. I, I'd rather. I, you know, if I had it my way, I'd be a king, motherfucker, on one of those little deal with fucking uh, the railings where people have to fucking hand me to the store. You know. <laughs> And then, <laughs> <laughs> and, and then I want to look at their face. Take me to church's chicken. I'm like, oh, this fat motherfucker. You know, I mean, he's just gonna get fatter. Right. But um, you know, you, you get fatter, you just add another guy on. Guy, okay. <laughs> now I four, you move to six. I from six, six to move to eight. And from I eight, you move to ten. <laughs> well, I want to have people enslaved just so I can fucking eat more bullshit without moving. Become job of the hut quite literally. But fuck all that. Listen, guys. It's Friday. It's Friday. It's time for you to find the one you love. Even if you don't love her yet. 
And give her the magic stick. Give her the magic stick all the way. You know what I'm saying? No, uh, no pity, no, no, no pity, no mercy like the Karate Kid. No pity, no mercy. This is uh, Dojo Insano or whatever the fuck right. they were called. But, you know, the thing about it, make a baby this weekend. Bring another life into this world. We need it because uh, the way people are dying of everything, man, it's crazy. You know, you got people dying of STDs, people dying of cancer. Still number one heart is heart attacks. People dying of heart attacks. So a lot of people are dying, so we need to replenish the earth yet again. And that's all I got to say for special, or what the fuck, my, uh, the other morning show. I'm Dimebag Doily. I'm Two Powers Mind. Peace.